Hey guys, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom icons for your folders. And for this to work, you need to already have Hack G installed on your Super Nintendo. You need to have 2.20 or higher. And if you want to learn how to install Hack G, please see my guide down below in the description. It'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install it and get your Super Nintendo modded. So if you have Hack G up and going, and you have more games that can fit on the home screen, then they usually go inside these folders. And inside the folder is usually more games, or more folders with games inside those folders. So as you can see here, I have a lot of games for other systems, so I'm going to be making some folder icons for these also. So here's a look at my home screen after installing all my custom icons, and I've got a custom icon for each system. Now these are just custom icons that I installed, but Hackchi does have quite a few icons you can already choose from that's pre-installed. And I also made a custom icon for the back folder. And if you want to learn how to install RetroArch so you can play games from other systems like Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, etc., I'll put a link down in the description that has a step-by-step -step guide for that also. And as I said before, this will work for HackG 2.20 or higher. So I'm going to open up one of my HackG folders to show you where the folder images are. There's going to be a folder called Folder Images. And if we click on that, that's going to show us all the images that are already pre-installed with our HackG. So you can select from all these icons and change your folder art to any one of these icons. So there's quite a few icons we can already choose from. And at the very bottom of this, there's actually a text message. And if you click on that, it tells you exactly what type of icons you can put in here. It needs to be in a ping format and the pixels cannot exceed 204 by 204. They can be smaller, but you don't want to exceed that. And you can also just edit any of the pictures that are on here. For example, I'm going to pick the Game Boy Advance icon here and open that up in Windows Paint. So all these images are already in a PNG format. So when you go to edit them and save them, they're already in that PNG format. But if you use your own image, you want to make sure you select Save As and select PNG Format when you save it. So I'm just doing some examples here. You can write on this, you can type a name out, you can do whatever you want to the picture. And if you click the save button, it's going to replace the picture that was in there with this new picture. So that was a look at my old images folder. Let's take a look at my new one. So my new folder contains all the original icons, plus it contains a lot of custom icons for various consoles. And I have a custom icon for the back folder. And the original folder is in here also, but I renamed it to Folder Back Original. So there's quite a few custom icons for a lot of different systems. Now not all these systems are compatible with the Super Nintendo, but maybe in the future they will be. Now I should mention I didn't create all these custom icons, I did make a couple of them, but I found these in a forum, and then that guy said he got them from someone else, so I'm not sure who the original creator is. But whoever he is, I'd like to give him credit. So everyone, if you'd like to use these folder images, I have created a link down below so you can download these. This is a mega link, once you have that page open up, you just click download. Now this is optional, you don't have to download this, this is only if you want those custom images I have. Once it downloads, I'm going to select open, and that'll open up the zip archive. And inside this will be a folder images folder. And for right now, I'm just going to drag this to the desktop so I can explain this better. But you can drag this directly to your hack cheat folder if you want to start replacing those images. So I'm going to extract this right to my desktop. Now I have a folder images folder. And when we click on that, that's going to be the same folder name that's inside our hack cheat folder. So this has all those custom images I was just talking about, plus the original images. So now I'm going to open up my hack cheat folder. And if you notice there, there's a folder called Folder Images. So what's going to happen now is we're going to drag our Folder Images folder on the desktop inside here, and it's going to replace it. And it's going to ask, do you want to replace the files in the destination? And we want to select Yes. So this is going to override our Folder Images folder with all the new icons. So now when we click on this, we should have all those new images in there, and that's exactly what we got. Okay, now it's time to open up the HackChi app and get your games added. And what I got is I got the original 21 games, then I got six other systems with five games each, and that's what I got for a setup right now. Before we sync our games, we want to go up to Settings and go under Folder Structure. We want to select Custom, and then Maximum. It depends how many folders you got, but I'm going to select 50, and that's going to be plenty for me. Now that I got my settings changed, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Synchronize Select the Games button. So if you have more than just the original 21 games, they could be in various different locations. They could be in a folder called Unsorted, they could be in a folder called More Games, or they could be in an alphabetical folder, or they could just be mixed in with the original games. So what I like to select is original games, other games, and that automatically separates the other games. So all my extra games are actually located in the more games folder, and yours could be in a different folder, but that's where mine's located. And there's also a chance you could have multiple folders that have games inside each folder. It just depends on how your configuration is set up right now. So now it's time to create a folder. So I'm going to go in an open area over here and right click and create new folder. Now you're going to name your folder whatever you want it to be. I'm going to name mine N64. Now I'm going to go ahead and create some more folders. I'm going to create a Sega Genesis folder. 
a TurboGrafx-16 folder, and a Super Nintendo folder. I'm going to call it SNES Favorites. Now that I have some folders made, I'm going to change the icons. So I'm going to go ahead and select a folder. I'm going to select Nintendo 64 by clicking on it. Now I'm going to go up to Menu Icon and right click. And that's going to give me some options for different folder icons I can use. So there's over 100 different icons you can choose from. But obviously you want to pick something that's related to Nintendo 64. So here's a look at the stock image that already comes with Hackchi. And then here's a look at the custom image. And that's the one I'm going to select. So now you just want to repeat the steps for the remaining folders. Select the folder you're going to change the icon for. Go up. Right click, find the icon you want, select it, move on to the next folder. Once we have all the icons picked, it's time to move our games to their appropriate folders. And if you end up with any unwanted folders, like in my case I have this unsorted folder and there's nothing in it, no games, so I'm just going to select it, right click it, and delete it. So now I want to make sure I select the folder that has all the extra games in it. For me, that's more games. So when I select that folder, that's going to put all the extra games over here to the right. Now we can just select a game, this is Legend of Zelda, I'm going to select that and I'm going to drag it over here to the N64 folder. Now I'm going to take Goldeneye and do the same thing, and you want to drop it to where your cursor is right in the middle of the folder. Now we just want to continue to do the same thing for the remaining games. Just drag and drop them in the appropriate folders. Now once I have all my games transferred from the More Games folder to the appropriate folders, there's no reason to keep the More Games folder, so I'll just delete it. Okay, here's a look at my folder structure, I'm all done. I've got my original 21 games, plus an additional 7 folders with 5 games inside each folder. And one more thing I should mention is after you select your folder structure and you start building new folders with custom icons, if you select a different setting in the right corner, it might wipe out everything you just did and you're going to have to start over from scratch. So that's just a heads up for you. I made that mistake and I had to start over. Alright, let's select OK and add the games to our Super Nintendo. And once you do this, it will save that folder structure, so next time you add games, it's going to have that same folder structure. Alright, let's go ahead and power up the Super Nintendo and check out our new icons. So here's a look at my custom folders, and these are all on the main screen with my original 21 games. So I got all my games neatly organized now, all categorized by system, and I also have that custom icon for the back folder. So I'm going to open up my Super Nintendo folder, and when I'm ready to leave that folder, instead of having that regular just folder icon that says back, I got that custom Mario icon. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please click that like button and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click any of these links.